Hi friends, welcome to Biology Exams for A.com. Today let us have a 5 minute summary on classification of lipids. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe and support this channel. Let's begin with the definition of lipids. Lipids are a family of heterogeneous complex compounds. They are having a common feature that is they are non-polar organic compounds that are insoluble in water but easily dissolved in organic solvents such as methanol, acetone, chloroform, etc. They can be called as hydrophobic hydrocarbons. Lipids can be broadly classified into fatty acids and glycerides. So fatty acids are of two types, saturated and unsaturated. Let's begin with fatty acids. So this is a saturated fatty acid which is palmitic acid. A fatty acid is a long chain hydrocarbon as you can see hydrogen and carbon with a carboxyl group at the end COOH group at the end. It can be saturated or unsaturated. In the case of saturated fatty acid there is only single bond. It is having high melting point and it is solid at room temperature. Whereas in the case of unsaturated fatty acid as in the case of linoleic acid it is having double bond as you can see there are double bonds. It has low melting point and it is liquid at room temperature. In short, fatty acids are long chain hydrocarbons with carboxyl group at one end or COOH group at one end. Now moving into glycerides. Glycerides can be divided into neutral glycerides and phosphoglycerides. Glycerides are glycerol containing fatty acids. Let me repeat, glycerides are glycerol containing fatty acids. Let's take this neutral glycerides. As the term indicates, neutral glycerides are non-polar fatty acids. It is having a glycerol back backbone. So this is glycerol, which is a three carbon compound, one, two and three. And each carbon is bonded to a fatty acid. This is fatty acid one. Second carbon is bonded to fatty acid two and third carbon is bonded to fatty acid 3 by ester linkage. So in the case of neutral glycerides, which is non-polar, which is made up of a glycerol backbone to which three fatty acids are joined by ester linkage. Now phosphoglycerides, as the term indicates, it is having a phosphate group. This is polar, as you can see, here there is a phosphate hydrophilic head group then there is a hydrophobic tail. This is called phospholipid or phosphoglyceride. Here also there is a glycerol backbone as you can see. Then two fatty acids are joined. Then there is a phosphate group. Then there may be alcohol like ethanolamine, serine, etc. So in the case of phospholipid, there is a long hydrophobic tail and a hydrophilic head with a phosphate group. That's why which is called as a phospholipid and it forms the cell membrane. Now moving into the next classification of lipid. Lipids are further divided into non-glyceride lipids and complex lipids. Let's take this section. Non-glyceride lipids. As the term indicates, these lipids doesn't have a glycerol backbone. It is further divided into waxes, sphingolipids and steroids. First, let us see what are waxes. Waxes consists of a fatty acid region, then there is an alcohol region that is joined by ester linkage. Waxes are present on leaf surface, this waxy coating on leaves that makes it waterproof. Also in the feathers of birds that also makes it waterproof. Then the second one is the sphingolipids. In the case of sphingolipids, the backbone is sphingosin. As you can see, this is sphingosin. The second carbon, the NH group is having the fatty acid chain. Here also there is a fatty acid chain. As you can see, the NH group amide carbon is having a fatty acid chain. Then the first carbon which is bonded to X group can vary. If it is phosphocholine, then it is called as sphingomyelin that is present on neurons. So it can vary. In the case of sphingolipids, this X group can vary. If it is phosphocholine, 
then it is called as sphingomyelin. So in the case of sphingolipids, instead of glycerol backbone, there is sphingosin backbone. That's a major difference. Now the third one, the steroids. Steroids, as you can see, it is made up of 17 carbon atoms. It is four ringed. A, B, C are six ringed or cyclohexanes and D is a cyclopentane ring. Classical example is cholesterol. As you can see, this is cholesterol consisting of four rings. If this is replaced by OH, then it is estradiol. So steroids are made up of 17 carbons, made up of four carbon rings. Classical example is cholesterol. And the next classification, the sphingolipids are further classified into sphingomyelins and glycolipids. We have already discussed the sphingomyelins. It is a sphingolipid with, with a phosphocholine head group. Now the next one is glycolipid. In the case of glycolipid, as the term indicates, it is a sugar lipid complex. So this is a glycolipid. As you can see here also, it is having a sphingosin backbone. Then there is a fatty acid chain. In the X group, there is glucose. Therefore, it is called as glycolipid, a sugar that is attached to the lipid group. So this is a structure as sphingosin backbone. Then there is a fatty acid chain that is bonded to amide carbon. Then the X group is a monosaccharide or an oligosaccharide. It can be even oligosaccharide. Here it is glucose. That's why this is called as glycolipid, glucose bonded to lipid by glycosidic bond. And finally, complex lipids. In complex lipids, there is lipoproteins. As the term indicates, it's a complex of lipid and proteins. Classical example is chylomicron. As you can see, these are proteins. APO A, APO B, APO C, these are named like that. These are different proteins. This central region, this T and C, indicates T is triacylglycerol or fatty acids. The C is cholesterol. So this is fatty acid core. Then there is a phospholipid bilayer on the outside. Then there are many proteins. So proteins with lipids. That's why it is called as lipoproteins. Other examples are LDL, low density lipoprotein, VLDL, etc. All are lipoproteins. It's a complex of lipid and protein. And that is about the classification of lipids. If you find this video useful, please subscribe, share, like and support this channel. Thank you so much for watching. You are with biologyexamsforay.com.